In Agra, India, there is a masterpiece of Mughal architecture, which in the world is known as the Taj Mahal. This shining tomb, spread across 42 acres, is the epitome of beauty, but still, it has a heart-wrenching story to tell. Once again, welcome to our video. Viewers, this 400-year-old building used to be the biggest and most magnificent building of its time. Now, it is considered as the seventh wonder of the world. To build this magnificent structure, 20,000 laborers put in their blood and sweat. That too for straight 22 years. If we imagine its valuation at present, this marble cladded tomb is worth $1 billion. Because the Mughal architects left behind signs of their incredible skills which are being praised by even today's top engineers. This building was designed in a way when it is seen from behind the main gate, it looks quite big. But as one advances towards the main gate automatically contracts in its size. It was not the first time a Mughal architect used such mind-boggling tricks. The four pillars at the four corners are not standing vertically straight. Rather, they are slightly leaning outwards. Because if they were kept vertically straight, then from a distance they would look like leaning inwards. As you can see in this picture of a mosque. There was another reason for leaning these pillars outwards. That, in case of a strong earthquake, they will fall outward, keeping the monument safe. But what was the reason that its architects wanted to project it so admirably? What are the secrets of the Taj Mahal which were concealed 400 years ago? And at the era when there was no concrete or steel, and how this 40 meter high dome was built? You will get to know all this and more in today's video. Viewers, all this started in 1607 when all this region was ruled by Mughal Empire. On that day, the youngest son of the Mughal Emperor Shahabuddin Muhammad Khurram turned 15 year old. And to celebrate this occasion, a splendid party was thrown at the Agra fort. Khurram was emperor's favorite child. That's why he used to be weighted with diamonds and ghouls in his every birthday. Khurram was gifted an equal amount of treasure as his weight, but something more special was about to happen on this birthday. Emperor arranged Khurram's marriage with the daughter of one of his lawyers. Her name was Mumtaz Mahal. Mumtaz and Khurram fell in love with each other on the very first day. No one knew at the time that this love will become immoral. For the next 10 years, Prince fought numerous battles and got victorious. That's why the Emperor given him the title Shah Jahan, which means Emperor of the World. Shah Jahan had total six wives who used to live in the harem of Agra Four. Out of six, Shah Jahan loved Mumtaz the most. And this was the reason that he spent most of his time with Mumtaz Mahal. Time was passing fast and four years later, in 1621, Mughal Emperor died. Shah Jahan was quite famous in the Mughal Empire and the favorite son of Emperor. He succeeded the throne seven years later. In 1628, the entire Mughal Empire was quite happy with their new Emperor. This was the time when Mughal Empire was at its peak. The Mughal Empire was spread across India, Pakistan and many parts of Afghanistan. Shah Jahan used to take all the decisions whereas Mumtaz Mahal used to give him suggestion behind the curtain. But no one knew this happy phase is going to turn into mourning. Within just one year of succeeding the throne, the Mughal Empire find itself in a war situation. For the next two years, the war continued and Shah Jahan became victorious here too. But before he could celebrate his victory, he was given very sad news. Mumtaz Mahal, while delivering their foreign child, became ill, and on 17th June 1631, she died. The entire Mughal Empire plunged into sorrow. This news hit Shah Jahan like an arrow. It completely shattered his world. Shah Jahan's first love and his most beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal was no more. It is heard that this sorrow for Shah Jahan into darkness. For the next eight days, he didn't eat anything, and for the next two years, Neither did he listen to any music, nor used any perfume. Before dying, Mumtaz Mahal wished for one thing. 
she wanted her grave to be made inside the most beautiful tomb in the world. To complete this task, in Mumtaz Mahal's last wish, Shah Jahan decided to dedicate his own life and wealth. Six months after the death of Mumtaz Mahal, the construction work of Taj Mahal began. Around 20,000 laborers, sculptors, and craftsmen were brought from the entire empire. Armies of men were brought to Agra on Shah Jahan's order because Mumtaz Mahal grave was present on the bank of Yamuna River. Therefore, it was a very difficult task to construct the most beautiful building in the world here. The land beside the river is soft and if the place is excavated, then the flow of water could harm the foundation of the Taj Mahal. To solve this problem, Mughal engineers started digging many wells. Laborers used to dig the well until they found dry soil. These wells were then filled with rocks and rubble and large columns of stone were erected over it. To execute this work, an army of elephants were used along with the labor. This trick of Mughal engineers worked and now a rock-solid foundation was ready, upon a soft land. After the foundation, now it was time to design a building that no one had ever seen. A design that would break all the records. Shah Jahan took inspiration from his ancestor's tomb for Taj Mahal's design. The idea of the pillars was taken from his father's tomb and building core of grandfather's tomb and the idea of the dome from his uncle's tomb. And when all these things were combined, a beautiful design surfaced. To construct the building structure, millions of bricks were baked at the location. This was not at all easy, enormous amount of money was spent on it. Every passing day, the royal treasure was getting empty. Shah Jahan was not worried about anything, he just wanted to complete this work. It is said that during the construction of Taj Mahal, so many people were bought that food supplies ran short in the surrounding areas because of them. To take care of the laborers, Shah Jahan had bought food supplies from the surrounding areas to Agra. After years of hard work, the main structure of the building was completed and now it was time to decorate it with the marble. This marble was brought from the Rajasthan, 400 km away from Agra. Because the Makrana marble of this place is still believed to be the world's finest marble, Shah Jahan had reserved the entire lot of Makrana marble for Taj Mahal. That means, until the demand of Taj Mahal was not completed, no one was allowed to purchase this marble. Thousands of tons of marble were brought from Rajasthan to Agra with the help of thousands of elephants. Taj Mahal's dome is so big that by seeing it, one can feel its magnanimous size. Nowadays, this kind of dome can be built using steel structure, but 400 years ago, to build 40 meter high dome, they had only the stones. The stress calculation that the Mughal engineers did to build this dome is still praised by the present day engineers. The finished work of the Taj Mahal was done with the decoration of Pietra Dura. Pietra Dura is a term for the inlaying valuable stones inside the marble by cut and fit. Marble is very skillfully cut and sculpted according to the shape of the valuable stone. And then, with the help of glue, it is attached inside the stone. The glue used inside Taj Mahal was not an ordinary glue. After a lot of research and laboratory tests, it was found that this glue was made by mixing shira, lemon juice and marble powder. The same glue is used for the renovation work for the Taj Mahal. Among the special things about the Taj Mahal is that it changes color four times a day. Before the sunrise, it gives black shade. After the sunrise, it has a light yellow and pink shade. And in the afternoon, it looks spectacularly white, as if a white pearl shining in the blue sky. And during the sunset, the entire building looks golden. After 22 years, in 1654, the construction work of the Taj Mahal was completed. Shah Jahan was successful in completing the world's most beautiful tomb for his beloved wife. Shah Jahan kept the name of this magnificent building in his wife's name. Inspiring from Umtaz Mahal, the building was named Taj Mahal. Every year, Shah Jahan used to visit Taj Mahal via Yamuna River on Mumtaz Mahal's death anniversary. This entrance for the Taj Mahal was built only for the royal family members. The wall of the entrance building have the finest sculpture work, which was done to please the eyes of the royals. Despite the success of completion of this project, it had brought Mughal Empire to the edge of renation. Four years later, in 1658, his son overturned the throne and became the emperor of the Mughal Empire. Shah Jahan was made prisoner and kept inside the Agra fort. 
One facility was given to Shah Jahan that he would be able to see the Taj Mahal through the window. Eight years being imprisoned at the age of 74 years, Shah Jahan too left this world. And it was time for Shah Jahan to meet Bumtaz Mahal. And he was buried inside the Taj Mahal. Hope you liked this video.